Check out all of this fruit. All the way up. This is our four year update on our two in one, both type A and type B avocado trees that we grafted together. And now we're enjoying hundreds of avocados off of this multi grafted avocado tree. So I'm just gonna highlight some of the amazing results that we've got from our multi grafted avocado tree. I'm gonna share with you some highlights from the past on how we accomplished this success. And we're also gonna be talking about type A and type B. Do I really need two avocado trees to enjoy this much fruit? Unfortunately, some growers say yes, you must have two avocado trees in order to have any fruit. And guess what? That's false. And I'm going to prove that to you today. Hi, I'm Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics, where we grow cool plants and author, saving the world with the home garden. And here I am now next to our multi-grafted avocado tree that we did together about four years ago. Again, I'm gonna share with you some highlights of that towards the end of this lesson. But what I wanna share with you first is, check out these fruit right here in front of me, pebbly skin, another cluster of fruit, pebbly skin, more rounded fruit. These here are the Hass avocados, a type A variety of avocado. And just next to it, follow me over, just a few leaves over, these are Fuerte. Check out the pear-shaped and more smooth skin. Here's another one, just behind it a couple more. Fuerte avocados, these, now again, I'm bringing these two branches together, same tree, are not the same fruit. How cool is that? That we're enjoying two different avocados that ripen at two different seasons, all on the same tree. This allows us now to enjoy high quality, delicious avocados for a prolonged period of time because we've got two varieties of avocados in the footprint of one tree instead of having to plant two large avocado trees on our property and enjoying and reaping the benefit of having avocados in your backyard to harvest virtually year round. The Fuerte avocado is a type B avocado and the Hass, as we said earlier, is a type A avocado. And if you're gonna have two varieties of avocados, make sure that you get varieties that are one, a type A, and the second, a type B. Unfortunately, when it comes to avocado labels, some of them will have the wrong information on them, such as this one here. In the upper right corner, it reads that this fruit needs a pollinator. And if you turn it over, it reads, use one of these varieties below for pollination. Cross pollination with another avocado variety is needed to produce quality fruit. They're not saying may improve yields. They're not saying, you know, that, you know, it can help. They're saying that you must have it, that you will not have fruit unless you've got a second variety avocado. And this unfortunately grower is trying to sell more trees, obviously, when one avocado tree is enough. Avocado trees are self fruitful, meaning one avocado tree is enough to have fruit. But most research will say that if you wanna increase your fruit yields by as much as five to 20%, having a second avocado of a different type, again, the different types being avocados fall in a category being type A and another category of avocados known as type B. If you want to learn more about type A and type B avocados and why they're called such, I did a lesson on that many years ago. You can find in the upper right hand corner of your video, you can click on that link right now or you can find it in the video description below. So now that you know one avocado tree is enough, remember again, two, you're going to increase yields, other things when it comes to cross pollination and it's not just with avocados but your cherries, your peaches, your plums, your apples, and so much more. And even if they're self fruitful again, cross pollination also helps make your fruit a little bit larger, a little bit tastier. There's so many other benefits and there's a lot of research to support it. It's not just me that will say that cross pollination helps, you know, again, with better yields, better quality, better taste, better everything. So always consider when you've got one fruit tree, even though it's self fruitful, consider planting another variety that's related to help with that fruit set. 
Let me now take you in for a view on our success story that we accomplished together four years ago. Come on in. And for those of you that have been following this from four years ago, we pruned it. It was once a, about a 20, 25 foot tall tree and we cut the tree down to this point, which is about three feet off the ground. And then we grafted on it. This one over here, I've identified as the Hass avocado. And you can see we use the approach grafting technique. It is now healed about halfway over that pruned branch. So I would assume another four more years, it'll completely heal over this wound. And then over here is the Fuerte avocado. And again, you can see how well and how beautifully it's healed and made its way part of the root stock of this avocado tree, which the owner didn't like the flavor of. And so grafting is an excellent way to help convert your bad tasting avocados or any other fruit trees you got on your property. As long as they're related, you can graft related varieties of fruit on it, such as the Hass and the Fuerte on this, um, I think it was a holiday avocado tree, um, something that the owner did not enjoy eating. Um, and we therefore converted the flavors over to two delicious varieties the owner is now loving. Some of you may notice that you can see that the tree has got this white protection on it and it's actually the Ivy Organic 3-in-1 plant guard. And it's basically protecting these grafted wounds from the entry of beetles, termites, and disease. Something you're gonna to wanna to do as soon as you see your successful graft is you're gonna to wanna to protect it as we did here. And you can see, this is about three to four years ago that we've actually applied the product. As you can see, those cans that are way back there, they're all rusted and aged. from application we did way back when. And here we are today, applying Ivory Organic, already added the water to the contents. Three-in-one plant guard protection against damaging summer sunburn, insects, and rodents for use on your roses, fruit, nut trees, or ornamental trees and shrubs for use in organic production, healthier than latex paint tar-based products, and Armory listed for organic use for organic orchards across America. We've been helping farmers in addition to backyard growers that wanna grow food right. So if you're protecting your grafting wounds or pruned branches using latex or tar-based products, you can imagine that if I'm adding it, as I'm now adding the Ivory Organic 3-in-1 Plant Guard to those surfaces, latex and tar are going to trap moisture and it's gonna to contribute towards underlying rot and it's gonna start rotting out that wood below and that's gonna ultimately end up within the tree as it heals over. Ivory Organic, unlike those products, dries on porous, allowing the exchange of air nutrients and moisture. Um, again, this product can be watered down and even used as total plant guard protection. And you can also still foliar feed through the product again because it dries on porous, which results in much healthier protection. Most research will say not to use latex and tar-based products again, as we said, because it traps moisture and can contribute towards underlying rot and can damage your trees. Ivory Organic dries on porous, resulting in a much healthier natural protection. That is the most important zone that we're gonna be whitewashing. You can continue to protect the entire calloused cambium connection between the rootstock and the scion. And now let me get the second grafted variety. Again, here's the backside of the graft. And then if you wanna come around back, you can see what the other side looks like as well. And here we go now. And protect this side as well. Of all fruit trees, avocados are one of the number one most prone to sunburn damage. Citrus is a close second, and pretty much all other fruit trees, plumerias, ornamentals, and so forth, when they've got their bark exposed to too much light, as this is over here, they will suffer first, second, and third degree damage. And now the tree is going to start investing more resources into repairing skin damage instead of working on growth, flowering, and fruit. And you can see these branches are just dying back, all due to sunburn damage. If you just look right below you, you can see something closer to about second degree sunburn. And we've done a lot of examples of even third degree sunburn where the bark completely falls off the tree and the life of the plant is significantly compromised. The goal when protecting your plants is to make sure you whitewash the tree trunk, 
and lower branches, as I call it, the heart of the tree. If some of the extremity branches burn, you can always cut those back. As long as the heart of the tree is healthy, it'll continue producing more successful fruiting branches. Um, in this case over here, we're going to whitewash and protect those most prone areas from the light. And the tree's kind of telling you where to apply the product. You see the branches going from green to crickly cracked brown. We're gonna protect it. It's gonna begin healing. And we're just gonna continue monitoring it from year to year until that canopy better protects those exposed to too much sun spots. And if you come down here as well, we can quickly protect those branches as well. So here we are now in the upper canopy of this multi-grafted avocado tree. Check out again, Hass avocados by the hundreds. Check that out, just dancing in the wind. So before I take you to the past, highlighting some of the lessons when we together grafted this tree initially, I wanna share with you a few fun facts on why graft your avocado trees or any trees in general. Number one reason is it's fun. Wasn't this fun together just checking out and seeing two trees on a single tree, two very different avocados, two very different flavored avocados, all on the same tree trunk. By having different varieties of avocados on the same tree or any other fruits grafted onto the same tree trunk, you're able to also extend the season that you're harvesting fruits off of that single tree. Another benefit for grafting as well is that you don't have to plant so many trees and most of us have limited backyard real estate and by having a multi-grafted avocado, we can have all of those varieties of avocados in the footprint of one tree instead of having to plant two or more trees taking up more real estate from your backyard orchard. And as we said at the beginning of this lesson, how much easier is cross-pollination gonna happen, whether it be by wind or bee, if it's all in the footprint of one tree. So the flowers are still gonna bloom, the type A and type B variety avocados, or even if they're apples on apples, peaches on peaches, um, cherries on cherries, and whatever those multi-grafted fruits that you're gonna put together on a single tree, that increased pollination between the varieties is gonna result in higher yields, better sized fruit and tasting fruit. So you're gonna get all of that benefit by having multi-grafted fruit trees on your property. Also, since here we are in the summer months, daylight hours are long, plant is busy at work, supporting tons of fruit. Don't forget to feed your plants. And Ivory Organic has an all-purpose fertilizer that offers your plants all six plant macronutrients. Most products on the market focus on just three, the NPK, whereas Ivory Organic offers your plants all six, which include nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and magnesium, sulfur, and calcium. Additionally, the Super Blend has the added azomite, which is crushed volcanic rock, for added micronutrient nutrition as well, offering your plants in a single product, all of the elements necessary for a healthy, optimal plant production and longevity. I hope you enjoy this quick blast from the past moment that we shared four years ago. If you've enjoyed this lesson, be sure to give us that thumbs up, share us with your gardening friends and family. And for those of you that are new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that push bell notification to join America's leading garden product YouTube channel. And as always, keep growing with Ivory Organics and wishing you all happy gardening.